Hi, I'm Richard Carlton. Welcome to the Coach's Corner. Hi, I'm Richard Carlton. I'm here with another Coach's Corner, which is where we give you kind of frequent tips on what's important if you're a FileMaker developer either in-house or not in-house, yeah. right? And uh, so this is Jesse Barnum. Well, hi, Jesse. Richard. I really Jesse. dislike Jesse. He's one of my <laughs> least favorite people in the world. And you have an updated version of your product. We got Nursing 6 out, and it's got some ex very exciting stuff. It's the biggest rewrite since version 3. Okay, so it's a huge rewrite. And so what's better about it? Why do I want Nursing? Mm -hmm. Six. Why do I want this? There's a lot of things that are different, but if I had to boil it down to the biggest thing, it's that we can now automatically detect all your new fields and tables, and you don't have to reconfigure or repaste script steps anymore. We just figure everything out, and you don't have to think about NeuroSync once you finish your initial configuration. Now, I was looking at all the things that you know FileMaker is doing, talking about Claris Connect and all this sort of stuff, but I really don't think Sync is part of what their strategy is, right? I mean, they're moving data back and forth, but really doing legitimate syncing between like a mobile app that's out in the field and then back to headquarters, that is a very specific process. It's very complicated. Yeah, it, People is, don't realize how complicated it is. So many edge cases and filters and stuff like that in sync, conflict resolution, deletion detection, uh, primary key mapping, foreign key rewriting. There's a lot of syncing in the right order, cascading deletions. There's a lot of issues to consider. I don't get the impression that FileMaker is any of the things, there's a lot of cool stuff that they're talking about. Yeah. I don't get the impression that any of it is targeted towards that person who's out there working on a gas pipeline or working in a village or working on a construction site, working in any of these places where they have little to no mobile connection. I also don't get the impression that they're focused at all on server-to-server -server stuff, which is a big focus of Nursing 6. Yeah, that was a big uh, uh, capability. You had that a while back, and we were calling it kind of the uh, the replication kind of capability. But Yeah, we did a previous video about that. Yeah, and so I'm going to reference some videos down below here where you can see where we talked about replicating data between two FileMaker servers. So if you have two geographic mostly for geographical purposes, although you could do it for load balancing too. Mm -hmm. But if you had like an East Coast or West Coast or European or Asia Pac server mm -hmm. and you wanted to put data in one and then make sure it went everywhere else, you could set it up so that data would replicate within say 15, 20, 30 seconds. Yeah, and the other killer killer use case for it is just disaster recovery. You know, oh. just having a second copy of your database that's synced every minute or five or 10 to a secondary server, if anything goes wrong, whether it's a user issue or a server issue or an OS issue or a FileMaker issue, you just repoint everything to your other server and there's almost no downtime. Well, we actually looked at that too in that enterprise, uh, that, that clustering video. Yep. So, so you could run the two servers at the same time. You could uh, have one server that's really not running but has the data running to it. And so you can direct the traffic to one server or both servers yep. or to whichever server is still functional because we, yep. we covered that in that video, right? We did, we did. So, so this is getting better, it's getting faster, it's getting more reliable. The thing that the thing that MirrorSync 6 brings to the table that was missing in MirrorSync 5 uh -huh. is MirrorSync 5, it was possible to do all this stuff, but it was a lot of work for the developer to keep everything up to date when they made changes to the solution. Uh -huh. With MirrorSync 6, you can make all the changes you want to your solution, new tables, new fields, scripts, layouts, everything like that. MirrorSync 6 will automatically just keep everything up to date. Wow, that's great. Yeah. So why do I love Mirror sync. Why do I love 360 Works? The reason is, is that these guys take their job seriously. They show up in the morning, and when there's a bug or a problem, they fix it. Software is never perfect. What matters is how you respond when things go sideways. So. I pride myself and work really hard with my team to make sure that there's a complaint, a problem, something goes wrong. And you don't want that to happen, but it does, because that's life. You want to make sure you respond the right way. These guys, if I talk to a vendor <laughs> and I endorse an a vendor, I know that when I'm not there, and you call them because there's an issue, they will respond, they will take care of it. That is yes. why I do what I do and why I only frankly uh, support just a couple of vendors because they're the ones I can vouch for personally. Yeah. So this is the new Mirror Sync. They have great products. Uh, feel free to check it out at 360works.com, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And uh, you can always follow Jesse on his Twitter feed as he 360 works. 360 works. And uh, although I don't tweet that much, no, I don't either. We we have we post up on Facebook too. Facebook, Facebook and videos. Works, yeah. yeah. Cool. All right, so we'll catch you in the next video. This is Richard Carlton and Jesse Barnum. And we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.